The gun shoved in her face, forcefully cuffed, arrested on the hood of her car. These are the moments Nicole McClure's attorney says troopers should have used to get her client desperately needed help. Instead, McClure sat in a jail cell for more than a day, throwing up and going to the bathroom on herself, getting made fun of by jail staff, accused of being drunk. But her attorney tells me she wasn't drunk. When McClure finally got treatment, doctors determined she had a brain bleed. Part of her skull was removed during surgery, and she was hospitalized for more than two weeks. It hits you. Um, this is a, a person whose life is never going to be the same, and she's never going to be the same. Nearly two years later, McClure suffers from brain damage and can't take care of herself. So why would I not arrest you at this point? Because yeah. I wasn't alluding. The lawsuit says Washington State Patrol Trooper Jonathan Barnes tried to pull McClure over for going too slow and swerving. Despite the lights and sirens, McClure didn't stop and instead slowly crashed her car into a roundabout. The suit says no one conducted a DUI test or gave McClure a breathalyzer. This, this was really a systemic failure for Nicole. Okay, so why'd you leave work? Because I was feeling dizzy. Why were you feeling dizzy? I think I'm really tired. So being really tired makes you dizzy and then you start hitting barriers and stuff? I did some digging and found out Barnes has been a trooper since June of 2019. According to Washington State Patrol's website, he received the Core Values Award at graduation, which is defined in part by acting with integrity and accountability, respecting and protecting individual rights, and earning the trust and confidence of the public. You're under the influence, okay? Oh, I'm just really tired. Okay, I'm glad you're really tired. Officials with State Patrol tell me he still works as a trooper. They wouldn't comment on if he faced disciplinary action for this incident. Reporting in Thurston County, A.J. Janivel, Fox 13 News. WSP and Thurston County said they can't talk about the case because it is active, but they say they are aware of it. The Thurston County Sheriff put out a statement earlier saying, in part, the nature of the allegations as reported are serious and will be treated as such. For the full statement, go to our website, fox13seattle.com.